Why can't he add the music to our ears so we can hear it? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, George. Yay, yeah, And Link. Bella. That's right. Gisela's here once again. Our, our highest rated episode of this season. Was so. the war one? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You don't pay attention when we when we do the analytic dump meetings, do you? We haven't had one. Link doesn't pay attention when he's not on the episode. Oh, that's what it is. He hasn't even listened to that Link one. Link doesn't pay attention at all. <laughs> well, we're here and we're going to get right into it because we have uh, 45 minutes and 173 Oscar You want to do this in 45 minutes? No, that's a joke. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think if we get to an hour, we're going to be lucky. But let's uh, no, let's run actually, let's challenge ourselves. 45 minutes. Go 45 ahead. minutes. You want to you wanna introduce the episode? No, because no, no, we go 45 minutes. And then if we don't reach 45 minutes, we do what the Oscar does when. And we go two hours speech. over. Oh, no, we, we you expect the speech. You play, we should play the music and we're done. They still go like two hours over even while doing that. Wherever we go. Okay. Um, today's episode, as you can tell, is the Oscars. How can they tell? Cause we're cause cause we're wearing ties, and yes. and tuxedos. I don't know. Was that what this is? I don't. She's you wearing like, a, she's wearing a tux. That's Diane Keaton shirt. Yeah. Is silk? Don't touch. Oh, that shirt. I thought you were gonna, the one fancy. on top. You guys stole me. With <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a nice shirt. Well then. Anyways, you were touching the zone of interest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nominated for best picture and multiple awards. <laughs> okay starting so, off our list we're just gonna get right into it right hit it all right actors we're gonna start off with actor in a leading role nominees include bradley cooper coleman domingo paul giamani killian murphy and jeffrey wright should i say the names of the movies? yeah i think so all right fine bradley cooper and maestro coleman domingo and rustin paul giamani and the holdovers killian murphy and oppenheimer and jeffrey wright in american fiction hey you would do good at presenting an award at the oscars i believe so if i have to ask the question afterwards is this how it should be <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe, well, <laughs> now you would do good because you would know the answer to that question all right bradley cooper and maestro and we can focus on really quickly their performances because oh no maestro oh yeah it's nominated for best picture so we're going to talk about maestro later correct so let's just focus real innately on the performances how was bradley cooper and maestro um i thought he was fantastic i you, thought he was yeah. i thought he was strong i'm i'm not i'm familiar with leonard Ber leonard bernstein's work just not the man leonard bernstein so yeah um and i think i mean we'll get to the part in the movie i guess but one of the things that stands out to me is the, the scene where he's conducting mm, i think that, i think that's uh that scene is just like that's something that's going to stick with me for a very long time. Th that's the clip they're going to show right when they yeah when they yeah, present sure. him for the nomination i mean i saw that clip like on many meme pages just the f different facial expressions and you know how animated he is um while he's presenting um but he also had some other like more subtle moments i think yeah. in the performance i think where he has a conversation um with another character and i think he did a great job I think he did fantastic, and you know I. Who do you eh, what do you think? Uh, my on my astro specifically, on his performance. Yeah, I think I he got lost in the role, or at that point in the concert, I'm like looking to see that if it is still is Bradley Cooper, mm -hmm. because that's how much he embodied, you know Leonard Bernstein. With the little that I'm aware of it, I think he knocked it out of the park. Link, you haven't seen Maestro? I, I think he did a, a fantastic job no, as, uh, that's, this... as, uh, okay. as a straight man of the group. Okay. Because everyone was just finding, looking for that man in Vegas, but he did the good job. What? All right. What? <laughs> any other thoughts? I think we on... should preface all the categories by saying, Link, did you watch any of these? Movies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch any of them? Okay. Have Batman? you seen Maestro, Rustin, The Holdovers, or American Fiction? I believe Paul Giamatti did an excellent job looking as like a blue man in the holdovers. He's talking about Big Fat Liar. Okay. Oh. And, all right. So, um, any thoughts on, on Maestro? No, I mean, Cooper did great. Like you guys said, he really like became the character and he was great. Well, if you're like Link and you haven't seen it, it's available on Netflix, as is the next nominee, which is called Domino. Domingo, sorry, for Rustin. What did you guys think of Rustin? I think he's a... The movie was, the movie was okay. I mean, it was quick. It was, it was just very like... It was like... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? 
it was like a nice companion piece. I think a different perspective to the film Selma. Selma. Yeah. I'm thinking of. Yeah. So I like that. We can talk a little bit about it because it's not nominated anywhere else. Coleman Domingo is the standout here, right? I think, I think it was in a movie where Martin Luther King Jr. not the, the main character. Yeah. In such a defining moment in history, like there were so many other people behind the scenes, and it was cool to see like everything that happened and the the role that Rustin played in getting everything together, and even the idea itself. I. I think he did, yeah, he did really well. I don't know if I would say that he was the best out of yeah. all the categories, but he was out of all the people nominated, but he was definitely, was a beautiful performance. Yeah. <clears throat> Paul Giamatti and the Holdovers. I loved this movie. Mm -hmm. It's available to stream on Peacock if anyone needs to see it, and I would recommend watching it. It was fantastic. Yeah, I'm kind of sad I missed it in the theaters but then it wasn't in premium format so same difference for me but this paul giamatti carries this movie this is a really good narrative and when i asked somebody about this movie they told me it was a sad story i didn't think so i i felt it sad? it's a sad story because he's a sad man he's a big fat liar well that that is Why true is he a liar? because he's starting the movie big fat liar he's gonna keep on with oh. this this is gonna go for yeah. another 38 yeah, he's minutes he's really gonna try oh, to hijack I the understand. episode now okay even though it's, we begged him not to is i don't know I, I don't watch any um i love this movie too and i think poggio mari did great and it's like a small film it doesn't feel like it's intimate yeah it's not like the other films are about like this great people or like you know important times in history he's a nobody but Right, the story is just about teacher and and. And we did are nobodies. Yes. I, I, oh, you did. Oh. Okay. Yes, but yeah, he you said know. he loved it earlier. Yes. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I I, bl I don't know what the lines to are blurred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's because true, of the, what's not. the dumb count voice. Also, right? I feel yeah. I feel like everybody in the movie was great. Like I, I thought everybody. Dominic, De Coco says I says I don't know what his last name is, but the one who plays the student. Yeah, I thought he did a very good job. As someone who has done that, been uh, worked as a leftover. A oh, holdover. that is true. That is true. This a movie, holdover? Yes, this movie is very <laughs> boring because that's what happens in holdover. It's a bore. There's nothing to do. Except oh, go to right. Boston. Yeah, you, you Link literally mean, did this job. Right, yeah. he did this job for a so few So it did a good job talking yeah. of doing that. I enjoyed it. Oh, so you related. Yes. Oh, did you ever took a fall? Is that how you ended up on this show? <laughs> That's how I lost my job. Okay. Sorry. You really gonna do this for an hour? But you sh we should make a movie about it. Mm. Every not, scene not is not a different the, accent. Not with the accent. No, I don't no, think. No, yeah, no, nobody <laughs> likes the accent. <laughs> That's not what one of our fans said. Yeah. Well, I like the other one, not this one. Hey, <laughs> 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 I, I did not choose Oppenheimer. You saw this one, Link. Why did you kick us off at Oppenheimer? Explosions everywhere. It's that's just that one did it, explosion. If that, that explosion is barely even is, in the movie. It's two. There's a lot of little explosions. Yes, yes I guess. Uh, there's the Trinity test, and then we don't see the big. Well, we see a drop. lot of things happening in the universe, <laughs> right? That's not the true. atoms, particles, the particles, right? All those, the practical effects, right? No computer mm -hmm. used. That was excellent. But we're not here to talk about the film. It's we all real nukes. Killian Murphy. Uh, he's the standout for me. Uh, I think he's going to win. And it. I think Link has insights in regards to who wins like all the other awards leading up to the Oscars. He's kind of our inside man with the BAFTAs and the SAG Awards. How's Murphy doing? He's going to win. I have not kept up. Oh, okay. He, he won. Um, he won, he won all the of SAG Awards. He won the right? rest of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. He won the SAG. He wins. So is that? Well, uh, I mean, he was great. I think it's a lock. I think he was fantastic. Okay. Well, I, he's my pick. I think he's the think best he's one here. Too. He's in the, the best film out of these bunch and i think this is a a real tour de force for him like when i first watched bradley cooper in the master i was like oh Cooper. yeah but then i now that you know i have time to reflect on it and, see, and sleep on it mm. i killian murphy performance is still kind of like sticks with you even now yeah like it's been months since i think that yeah the movie their performance is definitely iconic, but I also think, you know, reading the book mm, that's and, true. you know, the more that you know about the actual character mm -hmm. and how he was able to 
embody embody that, absolutely i think definitely adds to that performance and i think i think he should win it yeah so killing murphy oppenheimer also on peacock but at jeffrey wright in american oh, fiction i think in another year he'd be my pick i know as much as i love giamatti and holdovers I think Jeffrey Wright might be my second favorite. Performance. You know, like we, I've seen him so many times in so many movies, shows, right? Yeah. And when I saw him in American Fiction, he was he was so good. So, as a leading man, right? Yes, as a leading man. No, he you was. Watch it, yeah, you, you should watch like this. You would love. Like, you would love this movie. Reality. No, no one tell me what they like. A bunch of inappropriate <laughs> no, comments. All over. Oh, oh, yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> now can we tell you? <laughs> no one tell me. Uh, no, but I, I. I I, I actually loved this movie. I thought it was challenging. Yeah, it was it was really good. You haven't it, seen it, go watch it. I think it, it was the really most I've laughed in the theater since. Yes, um, in a long time, right? Since Bradley Nacho Cooper. Libro. What's that Ryan Gosling Bradley movie? Cooper in, in Barbie. That's not La La Land. Barbie? <laughs> uh, La La La? Crazy Stupid Love. Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, yes. Yeah. As really far cool. as like, you know, a movie taking you by surprise, because I didn't really know what to expect with America. Right. I didn't know, really know what right. it was about. Yeah. Um, and I was, you know surprised but like i i laughed my butt off it was fantastic i think he did a great job yeah yep um yep. i still think you know i think second in this category is either cooper or giamatti for me um but you're right i am happy for jeffrey right i'm happy that he got the nod yeah because he's been he's been you know putting in good work for years yeah so so for me i pick right over cooper because i'm just wired this way I think Cooper carries all of Maestro on his back. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I gravitate to performances that are in a stronger film, if that makes any sense. This is real, like, a highlight performance for Jeffrey Wright, and it's more subtle. And I don't know. I just, that would be my second pick. But I think we, so we all agree, our pick is Killian Murphy. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Or, or. for me. Paul Giamatti. Giamatti. Yeah? Paul Giamatti, really? That's no, Giamatti. this is my Giamatti I mean, voice. I think that's the only, <laughs> okay. those two are the only ones he's seen. Okay. Uh, what do you yeah. mean? For oh, me, yeah. it's Killy Murphy. All right, Killy Murphy for me. All right, actor in a supporting role: mm. Sterling Kim Brown, American Fiction. Mm. Should we just go one by one and just instead of repeating them all? Or sure. Okay. So, what did you guys think of Sterling Kim Brown in American Fiction? Since we were just talking about Jeffrey Wright, I think he's up there with Jeffrey Wright in the performance. I think he did a great job of a troubled and conflicted uh, man in this film. That's like, it really adds to the, you know, the familial tensions, I think, that they had, you know, yeah. in the story. Is it weird that I don't know why he's nominated? <laughs> no, I, don't think that, I don't think they could get anyone else. Yeah, because I think he did really good, as he always does. Sterling K. Brown yeah, is great. Right. Yeah. But I don't really see the amount of screen time that he had versus how challenging the role was. I don't really. I guess. The movie was good. I think he did it really good. I guess when yeah. he was in on screen, like, his presence was demanding his acting uh captivating yeah so i'm assuming that's why that's the reason but why also he maybe is the character it's the character yeah I yeah think so. but i also yeah. think i also think he's few and far behind the next four candidates right oh yeah absolutely robert de niro killers of the flower moon link you saw this one right uh yes the moon was killed <laughs> he almost forgot no. to do the accent <laughs> yes no i did not too long <laughs> he started normally and he's like oh wait any actual insight into what the, do you think? De Niro? The camera is like so many in and out. It just focusing. It, it stopped. It stopped doing it. Yeah, stop doing it when you. It's auto focusing. That's fine. Nobody actually watches. Everybody just listens, anyways. Oh. Do they? <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, it is focusing, I mean, auto focusing. So, um, Killers of the Flower Moon. What did you guys think, Robert De Niro? I mean, De Niro's. Uh, for me, he stole the movie. De Niro's great in everything, man. Yeah, like, he was so good. He's great in Bad Grandpa too. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Bad Grandpa. Like, that, that's real. Oh, <laughs> like honestly, like the movie was about him as much as it was about Leonardo DiCaprio or uh, what's her name? Uh, Lily, Lily Gladstone. Gladstone. Lily Gladstone. Uh, he he was awesome. A matter of fact, I thought for a second there that he was going to, that he might take the oscar but then we have Robert. if downey honestly if downey wasn't like you know kind of like the second biggest per, like the most screen time in that three hour movie yeah robert downey jr I mean, oppenheimer kills yeah. of, so of the, the flower moon he's in like a lot of no, yeah. no he's like i said the movie's as much as it's about him yeah it's one of those leading roles yeah. that is like 
<laughs> flip the movie around a little bit, 15 minutes, and he, I mean, a supporting role could be a leading role. Right. Um, but I think the nearest performance is like he's the villain, but he, you know, portrays himself as. Whoa, you know, spoilers. The. Why have you not seen this? You, wait, you really haven't seen it? Yeah, no. we we just told. Historically important. All right, that's on you. <laughs> no one told me to um, watch it. To watch a wait, who are we talking about? Killers, Killers of the, of the Flower, Flower Moon. Moon. He, hasn't oh. seen it. he thinks it's about it's a movie about somebody in killer. Wait, so he did? He literally didn't see it. He hasn't seen it. I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, I thought you. Well, I don't. Why? I don't. I don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> it's on Apple TV. I'm sorry, <laughs> but the nearest performance of like you know he he plays you know this this loving benevol bene benevolent character. Um, to the people in the story and then you know behind the scenes he's orchestrating you know the murder of everyone domestic well, terrorism well this yeah. is also a historical story and i'm almost certain if it makes you feel any better link that they will spoil this with the clips that they show at the oscars oh, no. like, yeah well, the, uh, you'll definitely know that but you'll you'll get it 10 minutes into the movie trust yeah. me. you can't spoil the, the oscars for me if i don't watch the oscars okay so robert downey jr oppenheimer hmm. i think he's gonna win you think he's gonna win Link? I agree. How do we feel about Ryan Gosling and Barbie? Don't know why he was nominated. No, I don't know. I see why he was nominated more than the next one. Mark Ruffalo and Poor really? Things? Yeah. Really? Poor Things is Oscar bait. Barbie. I don't think Poor Things is Oscar bait. I do think Poor Things it is, is Oscar, Oscar bait. bait. Yeah. Barbie. Everything about that movie was just begging to be nominated for an Oscar. Yes. There is no acting performance that's that import, important in Barbie. Okay, I, I, I honestly agree with you, Link, because I, I love Barbie and it was fun. It's a fun movie, but, but Oscars, I, yeah, that's a lot of good marketing. Bro, hype. Ruffalo did the same crap. <laughs> I, I, and I did think that. I did think that on mm. some level, but I feel like Sterling Stern Kim Brown also, like, at some point, you're just a good actor and just acting good like you always do. Maybe I'm taking them for granted, you know? Well, but to be fair, I feel like Ryan has to, well, I don't know, but he has to kind of reinvent the role of Ken. Like, more than Barbie? I think more than Barbie, yes, for sure. Yes, Barbie, Barbie. Yeah, but I mean, there's, there's a lot of things about Barbie. Like, there's movies and shows. I don't think there's that much about Ken, is it? I don't know. I'm, I know. There is now. Yeah, well, there is now. Yeah. So I think Ryan Gosling like kind of reinvented this character, gave it life, like a new. George, do you remember who I said should have been nominated instead of him, instead of Mark Ruffalo? I I don't. I'm Man, sorry. Because there was no. That's on me. I should have. There was someone that that I thought had a better, like a better had performance. a better claim. Like any of these movies? Not I, in these. How about but. Leo Leonardo DiCaprio? I'm surprised he didn't. Get nominated. I thought he true. was great. Oh, he didn't get nominated. Well, there's uh, only so much space on top, right? No, wow. but I'm surprised that he didn't. I know that he always get nominated, but I think his performance was that good. Well, uh, what about the the kid from the holdovers, like you mentioned? I would have nominated him over Mark Ruffalo. Uh huh. Oh, Mark Ruffalo did, but I guess I'm not did. saying he didn't uh, he, he did a great job but I don't think that performance is like was as, as captivating as an Oscar nomination right. yeah. Yeah, yeah I understand I think her father what was his name oh uh, Willem Dafoe Willem Dafoe that's was, who it was yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I thought Willem Dafoe was more Dafoe should have gotten you that. know what right. I did think that walking out of the movie Right, like I thought, man, Willem Dafoe is awesome. Because Poor Things is one of those movies that I watched just because it was nominated, mm -hmm. and then I ended up. So I already knew who was nominated for everything, and yeah, right. I walked out and I was like, "Why not Dafoe here?" Right, why mm. not Dafoe? Okay, Donny to win that one. This is my Dafoe face. All right, from <laughs> uh, from Spider Man. <laughs> that seems like your Dafoe face from every movie Dafoe does. <laughs> he's not a, that's why he get, didn't get nominated that's you know what I guess you're right that's the same thing I just said actress in a leading role so we all said right for supporting Downey Jr yeah Oppenheimer sweeping so RDJ. far RDJ okay uh, Annette Benning in Nyad also on Netflix Netflix going hard on the Oscars mm. this year yeah what did we think about Annette Benning? I'd have never heard this I movie. I think she was great. I thought she was fantastic. I think she was super awesome. This is the only time that the movie's nominated, right? By I this performance? So. Let yeah. me tell you, this I movie's good. Like Foster yeah. as well. Who was oh, Annette Benning? Right. Uh, she was Nyad. 
he is. We're, we're, that's we're all Which that story is incredible in and of itself. I know. Really I quick, didn't 30, even know that was even possible. 30 to, to 60 do. seconds. Pitch it to Link if he doesn't know the story. The story is about. That's uh, an event. That's all I need to know. Uh, he was an Olympic medalist, right? Or is she competed in the Olympics? I don't know. Did she? I want to say yeah. I want to say yeah. Yeah, okay. did something of he had. She wanted it to uh, swim, swim from Cuba to Florida in one go. Mm. It's like what, like a hundred miles or that's so? Insane. Yes. Well, it's not humanly it's 90 possible. Miles, no. Yeah, it's not. That's what they were saying. Like the movie, like all the challenges that that she had to face. That's her. Yes. Yes. I saw Oracle here. Oh, okay. My God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's what the movie is. And she did it at the age of 62? Yeah. She Anyways, tries it in her Is she Cuban? No. 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 Everyone asks that. You know that? For I mean, what? especially here. Because yeah. it's like, why do you want to swim from but Cuba to... I, I, it's, to just, it's just a challenge. I think like, no, one, no, one could, no one did it. Right. Yeah. No one could do it. But she did it when she was like 28 or something, and she failed. She, couldn't, right. she didn't finish it. Right. This woman, this, how old was she? Like 60. She was 60 she was, when she started. She was like 61 or something like that when she was like, I'm going to do this. Yes, and then she was like 62, 63 when she actually yeah, did it. She, she had multiple attempts. Yeah. It's insane because she she's story. free. Like, you, like nobody can touch her while she's yeah, in the yeah, water. No, like, no. She has to worry about sharks and jellyfish. And no. it's honestly, it's an incredible story. It's an incredible story. It's mm -hmm. a great. It really oh, is. Oh, my goodness. And everything that I, that I, that they had to do to, to make it happen training the preparation i think no yeah. but I, I definitely think that like even just that i think that that story like that's something i mean for me that stays with me like in my head like just I about know. like mental fortitude to yeah. think like I know. something that you couldn't mm. do when you were in your 20s and you decided to do yeah. it at 60 like such an a feat that no one has been able to accomplish so you're so here in the head i think when you finish the movie you mm -hmm. text me don't cubans I, do it all the time no no they, i the, i feel like running through a wall <laughs> yeah Right. I just I don't know like it because I'm 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 training for I'm um, doing like a half marathon and this is like the first like big race I've had in years. Yeah. And you know there's there's just this thing where it's like even this when I was running I was running six miles yesterday and I was kind of like bonking at at mile five. Mm -hmm. Got the push through. And then I was like I literally thought about about this woman swimming. I mean, well, how many how, how many was, hours? How, how many hours? Forty eight. No, I was like more than that. More than that. It's like, it's, it's like 60 something yeah right non-stop non-stop she did not she stop. not drown uh they had like a boat right next to her that would like guide her through so make sure that she didn't it just helps her navigate but the, she the she just has to keep swimming and then she would stop she would just as she swam she they would feed her like food and water but they would feed her like with a tube like not with a tube they would just throw the they pasta throw the, in her face. The pasta in her face? <laughs> yeah, oh, like a fish. <laughs> Here you exactly. go. <laughs> like a fish in SeaWorld. <laughs> and I guess I guess water was really good. That must have been some salty food. Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon. I Killed it. She's, she's, she's going to win it. Killed it. Probably yeah, going to win. That's your pick? Okay. Killed it. Probably going to win. Uh, that That's my pick as well. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Uh, it was a... Is this her first acting role ever, right? I don't know. I don't know. Is I don't know, but it's role? her first major. Yeah, she killed it. Yeah, it's her first major role for sure. I don't know if she's done okay. any acting before that. I'm guessing Oracle's double checking that, but but I mean, type. she burst out of nowhere and she carried this movie, Killers of the Flower Moon. Watch it. It's the best three hours you'll spend in front of a TV. Mm. Mm. Are you it's a sure? great movie, Oppenheimer? but you'll be very sad. Yeah, it's not a happy ending. Well, because Killers is legit story. three hours and Oppenheimer is just shy of it. Is that correct? Or? I thought Oppenheimer was three hours. Oppenheimer is like three. Yeah? Okay. Well, I think it's shy of three. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Probably like 257 or something. I don't know. You know, I can't choose between Oppenheimer and Killers of the Flower Moon. I think I know, Oppenheimer is a, just a better film like from a filmmaking perspective. But I almost feel like Killers of the Flower Moon is like a more important story. At least cr making this movie was more important. Because I think we've covered the bomb. We've covered Oppenheimer. We've covered Hiroshima. So. I, no, this is what I'm saying. Many times. This is a new, fresh what vision. How many times? How many movies have we made oh, about... Letters of Iwo Jima. There's like a the, dozen. I have a watch list. About... Flags of our fathers. Ab about the bombings. She's made that. I don't yeah. know. No, there's like... I, I will, and this, like, Oppenheimer was not really about the bombings. Correct. Godzilla it was about minus one. him. Right. 
you know, and this challenge that was put in front of him or that he chose yes. to do. But for me, I think Killers of the Flower Moon is the first time a lot Anybody of people are going to ever hear about, about this story. It. You're right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You'll hear about Oppenheimer. You'll learn a lot more, obviously, in this film. You'll hear about Oppenheimer. You'll hear about the bomb. But you'll never, many had, people will never actually, hear. Actually, I have never heard this. about the story of the sage people. Yeah. Like, and everything that they went through and all the murders that took place because of greed. Like, I, I, this is the first time I've heard of what happened right in, yeah. in Oklahoma during the time period. So we've talked yeah. about it previously before. We'll talk a little bit more when it comes to best picture, mm -hmm. but, um, anatomy of a fall. I just want to say Lily Gladstone. Yeah. I think in those moments where like cover your ears, essentially all that stuff happens to her, like all that, you know, amount of like pain and loss mm -hmm. happens to one person. I think that she, she did a fantastic job of portraying that on screen. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Covering my ears. I didn't made feel it like, worse. I heard you more. I don't feel like that he had to cover his ears for Good. that. There's pain and loss. Yeah. Um, how do you pronounce the Anatomy of the Fall nominee? Sandra Hewler. 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 Anatomy of the Fall. This is a movie I wouldn't have watched if it wasn't for the Oscars, and I'm so glad we did. It was so good. And she was amazing. Yes. She carries the movie. She was she's my second pick. She's I agree. Really? She's my second yeah, she's my second pick too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, and we'll talk, I guess, more about Anatomy of a Fall when we get to Best Picture nominee, but her performance was, oh man, it was so good because it's like, you think about it, do you know what this movie's about? Uh, Slip and Fall and They Sue You. Close. Um, a woman well, basically gets on trial. Of murder. She gets accused of killing her husband. Um, <laughs> but I think throughout, you know, the trial and the story, I think that you never really know. You know, if she did it or not. And I don't, I don't mm. know if, like, that's something that's, that's answered. But I think the performance is great because it's, like, she doesn't give too much away in either regard. She's, like, I don't know. You would expect someone that, like, lost her husband to, and, like, if you didn't have a parole in it, like, you'd be, you know, very, um, what's the word? You know, just, I mean, everyone reacts to grief in different ways. But I feel like she would go through more, and I, I feel like, I don't know, it's very calculated in a way. Yeah. Where she didn't give out too much. Where she's like, I did kill him or I didn't kill him. And I think there was a very fine line that she navigated around between, when, especially when she's being asked like really hard questions or being put in like, you know, tough situations when she's in court. Um, and the fact that like, you know, doing that in two languages, I think is also very impressive. Yes. But she did say to her lawyer that she did not kill him. Like a few times. No, but I, I For, think... It's a guilty person. No, but also so? what I think, what I think is that what makes it such a great performance is yeah she says from the beginning that she didn't kill it she you know she feigns innocence but her performance doesn't give away it keeps exactly. us guessing right you know like so, we and, don't know if she's actually capable of killing her husband exactly we're not and really sure what's going on to rise if she would have done it or not yeah yeah carrie mulligan for maestro also she was okay. I, lovely lovely yeah lovely i thought she was good lovely bones I thought she was good, but not. There's no but there. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, good. She's worthy of the nomination, I guess, right? Yeah. But I, I, I think. I, I think that Lily Gladstone, even Annette Venning, were like head and shoulders more above. memorable. Even Emma Stone in a movie that yeah. we'll talk about later because I didn't particularly love, but uh, Emma Stone was Great. way out of her element. Emma yeah. Stone's, yes. Emma Stone's Emma Stone. She's she was fantastic. Quality. Matter of fact, I thought for a second after, again, after I watched Poor Things, I was like, wow. Emma Stone really brought it. Completely brought different. A lot. She could win it because she's <laughs> the one acting the most different. Yes. 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 Definitely something that she's never done before. Mm. Like we've we, never what, seen Emma Stone in. Yeah. What do we call that, Link? Method acting. Okay. What oh, else yeah. do we call? Impro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about what you say about this movie? It's what? What? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember. I don't said, remember. You said it was Oscar bait. Oh, Oscar bait. Right, yeah, there you go. We got just clip out all the other parts where, <laughs> where I didn't feed him the line correctly. All right. Now, actress in a supporting role. I kind of take it over. I'm sorry, Gabriel, if you want to continue. No, you're good. Um, disclosure, I haven't seen The Color Purple. That we haven't. One. That's the only no, nominee. I want to call you guys out and call you racist because it's Black <laughs> History Month. I don't. Did you watch it? I haven't watched any movie. 
Though. Oh, so that's okay, right? Yeah. So you haven't I seen get... the Native American movie, so you hate the everyone. Jewish movie. Yes. You haven't seen... Okay, interesting. Interesting that you would just throw that out there. Okay. Yeah, why? I am neutral. You know what? I'm, we're going to watch it tonight. No, no. After I'll, I'm done reading. I'll tell you the reality of why we haven't seen The Color Purple. Oh, it's a musical. I don't like musicals. Oh, it, it, it is a musical? <laughs> it is a musical. Oh. Just have to, you just it's have to a musical. <laughs> yeah, it's a musical adaptation of the novel that was Spielberg adapted to a normal film in the in the 80s. It's like the new Mean Girls movie. Okay, so there is, it a, is, like there the is a color movie. purple movie. There's a color purple that novel. Spielberg that Spielberg did yeah. in the 80s. Mm -hmm, as a film. And now this they one they wrote is wrote not a, Spielberg. Right. It's well, a he's producing musical it. He's producing it. Based on the book. Well, it's technically a musical based on the Broadway play based on the book. Tell them. Uh, you guys over there in the camera oh. world. Yeah. What's with Spielberg and musicals? He loves musicals because they're oh, a great other art form. What musicals have we done? West Side Story. <laughs> West Side Story. Oh, that one was of the him? best. Oh, yeah. you're right. Oh, yeah. My bad. The guy's well, just good at it. Well, Spielberg and Oprah. Right. Spielberg and Oprah produced. Well, obviously, Spielberg directed The Color Purple in the '80s, and they're both producing this one. But who is in The Color Purple? This one that's nominated. Is that Little Mermaid? No, nominated. she's not the one who's nominated, is she? Oh no, no. but she's seen that movie. I yeah. know. Yeah. What's that, her name? I'm sorry. But you're talking about the Haley movie, but Bailey. not her. Yeah, Haley correct. Bailey. But she's not nominated. Halle Bailey. No, it's Haley Bailey. Halle Berry. I always think it's Halle Berry, <laughs> but it's Haley Bailey. So who is nominated it? in this movie? Danielle uh, Brooks. Danielle Brooks. Which again, we're not Me sure either. because we haven't seen it. Who is Danielle Brooks? And going back to the original point why we haven't seen it is because it literally just dropped on Max. Like it was the last movie to make it to streaming. It had a very limited mm. film window and it was in the holidays when, which was hectic. And oh, I know who Danielle Brooks is. Okay. All right. I'll be honest. Don't know what America Ferrer is doing here. Emily Blunt no. was good. Emily Blunt was good, but Miss, I, I mean, my no. wife, I'm sorry. My wife. Just I can Ella. see why Emily Blunt's there. No, Emily Blunt. She was that blunt. Scene, she loved it. That yeah. scene where she's been interrogated. No, that's that's where she went to Oscar. Yes. That scene I mean, gets was, nomination. was wonderfully, fantastically performed. She was excellent. I see why Emily Blunt is nominated in this category. For that scene alone is yes. just worth of a nomination. But America Ferreira. Don't know what she's doing there. She had the monologue that everyone raved about. All right. It's TikTok bait. Listen, I, I, it was good. Like, I, I, liked, I, like, I like America Ferreira. I don't know that her performance is as memorable. strong as Emily Blunt's or... Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster killed it. Uh, Jodie Foster, Foster was awesome. Was and awesome. I genuinely believe that Jodie Foster uh, lives in the Keys. Or Divine Joy Randolph <laughs> in that holdover. Yeah, that's my pick. That's my pick. The holdover over is my pick, too. Divine Joy, she was wonderful. Like, I, I, she was great. She's been she's killing my, it. Yeah, she's my favorite to win. Wait, Her who? and Emily Blunt. Divine Joy Randolph. Divine and Jodie Foster. She was so good. I don't like, know. I love them if, all. It felt Those like she wasn't even acting. I feel bad for Dania Brooks because I didn't really see her. Well, I haven't seen the color paper. Yeah, I haven't so, seen it, so it's not fair. But uh, but uh, of what I have seen, uh, those three are for me my favorite. I do think it was she was acting because um, she's on Only Murders in the Building. Who? She's so funny. The Divine uh, Joy Divine, Randall. She's the cop. Oh, yes. And she's her so character. That's her. That's yes. Like, oh, you know, wow. You it's, see. You see. It, it's, it's I just didn't connected. make the connection. Yeah, and that's yeah. you see how different the performances yes. are. Yes, yes. I, yeah. I, I, no, I thought I think she should win. I thought she was really good. She was no, great. It felt so good, like you can't even tell. It's right. like so it's organic. It's like it reminded me of Frances McDormand in No Man's. Like you can't tell she's acting. It Perfect. Feels like a documentary. Yes. What a, yeah. Yeah. And this feels, that's and this a great feels like literally a a time period in the eighties. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like she's acting. How many Oscars does that woman have? Frances McDormand. Yeah. Like two. Yeah. It's not a lot because nobody has a lot. She's not beating what Meryl Streep. No one beats Meryl. No, nobody beats Meryl Streep. Not even Texas. So that's so sweep for us. Did you see it? Appears Prayer she's, circle. She's dating Divine uh, Joy Randolph. Yes, I hope you she guys, wins. You guys saw that dating, that uh, Meryl's dating my boy Marty Short. Yeah, Martin Short. Really? Ooh. Oh, some love in the air at murder what? on the murders. I thought I thought she was married. No, she, that was the movie. It's complicated with. <laughs> <laughs> with Steve <laughs> Steve Martin yeah. and. I forgot his name. Jack Donaghy. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. No, what? Jack no, for, for, real, for real. Is is she really dating? It seems that, that way. seems like it. it seems. But I thought she was married. You know, this is good for Marty. Okay, his wife died. He needs this. Okay, but <laughs> not good for Mary Strip's husband. 
Oh. If she's married, I if don't she, know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> it's it's on him for divorcing her. Why would you d- divorce Meryl? I don't know why anybody would. She is so would. versatile. She, you can ask her to be whatever you want. She'll do that. <laughs> why okay. would you divorce her? That gets dangerous. She's been separated since 2017. Oh. It's complicated. 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 Uh, but she was married for a long time. Yeah. That makes me sad. Who was she married to? Okay, but it's been a long Don time. Don Gummer. I don't, Donald I, Glover? No. Don, Don Glover. I don't I don't know if he's an actor. Is he an actor? I don't think so. He is a teacher? Professor? What does uh, he do? Yes. I he's an he's American a... sculptor. Oh. But if you have to choose between he Don Glover. He's married Lover, to Meryl Streep, although they've been separated since 2017. If you have to choose between Don Gummer mm-hmm. and Marty Short. Oh, Marty Short. So mm, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I could just imagine how much they love. Exactly. Yeah, that must be crazy. But, but did you guys I laugh? Bet, did you I guys bet, laugh I in this next Steve, category? Steve Martin is 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 loving this. I'm gonna tell you something. They're like, just gonna I keep going on about their love life. I feel like Martin Shore and me will be best friends. You say that about a lot of people. Jason. Okay, I know, but I like him. Okay. Hey, if you're gonna call him if your best friend, you gotta call him Marty. Okay, that's Marty what we and me. call him Marty. Marty and me. That's will what be we call him, friends. Marty. I think we'll laugh a lot. The next category: animated feature film. It's a strong category, but we missed a bunch of them. Is it? Yeah, I don't it think is. it's a strong category. You don't think it's a strong category? Okay, it's an important category. I, I do guess. think that this year's the Golden Globes did a better job. With oh, yeah? The, How? How so? They, they nominated other movies? And the fact that Elemental's in it. There's, mm. Well, you know that the Pixar movie's going to get nominated. Did yes. you watch it? Yes, in Spanish. Uh, we, haven't get, we will watch it before the Oscars, but we haven't got to it. I watched it in Spanish. And? I watched it with a little cousin of mine that came. It was, it was like, good. Quiero ver Elemental. <laughs> Tio Link, Elemental. I'm like, all right, let's do this, Abraham. It was good. It wasn't a, Shout su- out it wasn't a Mario Shout movie. Shout out my boy, Abraham. <laughs> it wasn't a Super Mario. Yes. Brothers. Super it Mario. wasn't uh, yeah, exactly. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Why, why Super Mario yeah. Brothers not nominated? Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem. Because yeah. the Oscars hate Jack Black. No, because, because Barbie took all the pop culture. Yeah, I guess. Pigs. Like, like for example, with America I, Ferrera getting nominated. Mm-hmm. I agree. Okay, wow. Now we're on an agenda. That's, that's for, right. That's no, for, one day I'm going to. One day I'm going to host there SNL. Was a, there was a Barbie agenda. There one was day I'm definitely gonna host a SNL. Barbie agenda. There's a Barbie marketing team. There really, that's yes. what there is. Yeah. Barbie had Barbie had a lot of people in their corner. One okay. day I'm going to host SNL, and America Ferrera is going to be the guest singer, and we're going to have an awkward <laughs> what? segment. Like for example, I think I think Super Mario that, should should have been nominated. I think Ninja Turtle should have also been nominated. Ninja Turtle should have been nominated Ninja just for Turtle. the. I haven't seen Robot Oof. Dreams, even though I heard that one's really good. It's not out yet. Here. I have not seen. I haven't that. seen Nimona. I haven't seen Nimona. Nimona is available on YouTube. Netflix put it up on YouTube, so even if you don't have Netflix, everyone can watch this movie mm. now. It's not on Netflix. And I haven't seen. It is on Netflix. Oh. So. All right, so let's get to this, man. There's okay. only two options here. The Boy and the Heron. The Boy and the Heron. By Hayao Miyazaki. Miyazaki. And don't forget my boy, Suzuki. Suzuki-san. Um, Minoru Suzuki? No, no. Toshio. I, I'm going to be honest. I love The Boy and the Heron. I know that you guys were like... Mm-hmm. Never saw it. I was indifferent. Who yeah. is you guys? You. I thought it was okay. Tan Tan. Not me. I love oh, it. Tan, tan. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was... Tan Tan thought he could do make a better movie. You. I thought he was Let great. Let me tell you what's going to happen. I, I got loved you. it. Okay, America, Luke's listen to me. It's between the boy and the heron and Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Right? It's one of those two. They're going to win it. Why? Which, why? No, because I'm telling you, Elemental, Pixar, uh, something's going on with Pixar there. It's mm. not. What no, is Nimona? going on with Pixar? We Every, should have a conversation it's, later, not yeah, now. Yeah. I'll tell you about what's wrong what's with Pixar. Going on with Pixar. Okay. They're you got them on a very box. successful sexual harasser. CFO, CEO, whatever What's chief creative content is out, and apparently he was really that good. Mm. Except there's a trade off. <laughs> just harassing every woman he would see. <laughs> no, the men too. And the men. Oh, yeah, Miyaz- no, oh, Miyazaki. I saw, I saw him harass my boy Miyazaki. <laughs> he did? Right. Well, he hugged him, and you know how Japanese Not just the men. Mm. Not just the but men. The women. <laughs> but the Japanese men. And the women. All right. So it's literally between the boy and the heron and Spider Man across the Spider Verse, right? Yeah. Now, this is why I believe. The boy and the heron is gonna win. Why? Number one, this might be Miyazaki's last <coughs> film, right? So doubt. No, we don't. He's a guy's eighty something, we but he know. might. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, it, well, you mean eighty something like late eighties or early eighties? He early has 80. enough time to make another. He movie. has an but entire career. So they live longer, but the guy smokes a lot. Like I was like <laughs> complaining reti- about the generation and smoking. He vapes, right? He hates iPads. He hates iPads, right? Now and his son. Oh, Torres. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not the one who. He's he, he's right. <laughs> there's there's a whole documentary about him it's hating just, his son. It's just maybe the culture. They're maybe overcritical. Yes, of, especially yeah. him. He is the greatest yeah. animator of all time. Imagine there's no being, one greater than Hayao Miyazaki yeah. animation. Not even Walt Disney. Yeah. Right. Walt Disney shines Miyazaki's shoes. Hot take. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. You need to All right. calm down now, a little bit. So right, really quick. I'm good. sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> into the spy across the Spider Verse, you're literally a part one. You didn't give me a complete story. You left I it agree. in a cliffhanger. Oh, right? okay, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So, does it deserve the win? Yeah, mm. it, it's Maybe. really good. Yeah. Is it go- should it win? No, because it's not a complete story. Give me whatever the sequel is. Not gonna win that year. That's why I believe. The Boy in the Heron Shoe win because it's fantastic. It's yeah. Miyazaki's it fantastic. one of the greatest movies, mm-hmm. yep, yep, right? Yep. It's critically acclaimed, and it mm-hmm. might be his last one. And yep. you know what? The Academy eats that stuff up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you're going to honor the, the greatest the animator Heron. of mm-hmm. all time one more time, this is the time you to do it. Me. And if you don't, guess what? What? That's messed up, bro. That's that not cool. True. And you know why they're going to win, though? Because in the in the Academy Award win, in the Academy um movie, I mean, sorry, a movie museum, they have a whole section on Miyazaki. These people are in bed with Miyazaki. This guy's going to L- win it. But not literally. No, not literally, or, metaphorically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. Only yes. Miyazaki's wife is in bed with him. <laughs> and <laughs> maybe and maybe the producer Suzuki, maybe. <laughs> Link. And what what about the guy from Pixar? What was his name again? And John Lasser. <laughs> John Lasser. <laughs> Wants to get in, but Miyazaki I, doesn't I, let him. I agree with Link. I think the boy on the heron is going to win it, and I think it should win it. It should yeah. win it. I think it was a great story. I loved it very much. I also think they I, don't want to give the Oscar to Spider Verse twice, three times. No, three times because I times. think it's gonna win. The it's gonna win the, second the, second. the yeah. It's gonna yeah. win. The that's they, why. That's why I don't think. Look, Lord of the Rings didn't get all three movies. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You get me? Uh-huh. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Really quick. Cinematography. El Conde. Me and Gisela watched this movie. I completely understand why it's nominated for cinematography. Yes. And you guys should watch it. You guys will like yeah, it. Yeah, it's on Netflix. A I'm link. Sorry, I'm not telling you what, what is I'm not like, telling you what you like. like. I'm telling you. Okay, thank you. I'm not telling you what <laughs> you, you like. Thank you. Yeah. But you might want to check this out. Yes. Uh, that animated car- category really smacked the accent <laughs> out of him. No, but I loved <laughs> it. Oh, back, dude. No. no. The count is back. One, hey, two, three. Gabriel. We have four hosts Listen, today. I was actually going to mention I, I how need, upset I've been this whole I, episode. I, I and then he this. he like took the light out of like. I needed this. I, I brightened up so much with that rant. I was so happy. It was all beautiful. Now I'm back because I don't know anything about cinematography well, all I, I have is an iphone and i take pictures well <laughs> ironically ironically el conde is about uh agosto pinochet mm-hmm. right it's a Ch- it's a chilean film mm-hmm. and he is a we vampire is that yeah. about- i am rooting for my boy agosto pinochet <laughs> no you're not allowed to say that yeah, yeah, that's, say that. yeah. oh no oh no oh no i mean, don't mean it like that <laughs> i am uh, rooting for renfield <laughs> okay uh and actually poor things it will be my my pick that was an interesting pick you did mention uh, that to me. yeah poor things is a it's beautiful like okay so if any of you guys have seen it a lot of sex it's a lot of a lot of that and it's to the point that it's carnal knowledge it's uh unlawful carnal knowledge yeah. it's a bit uncomfortable the amount of it and uh but however the movie is is it looks different it's it's beautiful it's it's nice it's my very, boy yorgos i think that would be my my pick for oh, cinematography it there, but... even before el conde <clears throat> okay even before el conde yeah we've got I'm killers sure. of the flower moon maestro Tell not i have a question el conde talked. is it a comedy yes it, yes it's like a so, dark comedy it's a dark comedy oh, oh. Is it like the death of Stalin dark comedy? It is like the death, death of, of Stalin, Stalin crossed with uh, what we do in the shadows. Yes. That's a perfect. <laughs> that's a great description. Let's George. watch these, my friend. <laughs> yes. And let's count how many times. <laughs> Your count just turned like vaguely Central American. <laughs> <laughs> You like it, Count. I mean, it's, let's it's count. a story about of one of your people. <laughs> let's count. Okay. Yeah. So uh, also, nominated, also nominated Killers of Flower Moon Maestro and Oppenheimer. What are you guys' picks? I mean, all these movies are beautiful. I've only seen Oppenheimer. Okay, so that's your pick. I'll go Oppenheimer. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. I'm going to say nice. Killers of the Flower Moon. That was really Didn't good, they? too. Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah. Over oh, Poor Things? I didn't like a Poor Listen, Things. Listen, eh. we'll get to it when we get to Best Picture. 
But Ford I, things does have an interesting uh, look. I think it has look. an interesting. Yes. look. I do agree. I do but agree it's with done that. On, I'm assuming it's done on purpose. Yeah, but I'm biased. I'm biased again. I, going to do that one or I and I and I think and I think that's one of the problems. And I understand what you're saying because I think that's one of the problems of Ford thing because it's shot differently. It looks different. It looks like a storybook, or it feels like a storybook. Yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't feel like the journey of a woman, right? It feels like the journey of I don't know. There goes that dream. Yeah, it's like the zone of interest. No, it's not like that yeah, at all. Well, okay, we'll talk about that later. All right, real quick, costume design. I'm out of this category. I don't know anything about this. You saw Barbie. You saw, you Oppenheimer. saw Oppenheimer. Uh, we've got Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, and Poor Things. My pick is Napoleon because I love when costume <laughs> design is won by a movie that sucked, but just randomly got nominated for I costumes. Think, I, I think it should Didn't be Barbie. It. I feel but, like Barbie was dressed like in the our century. But they no. were vibrant, the costumes. What but about the Ken? Cost, the costumes, the... His the, outfit from you the know Dojo what? Casa you house. Know what? I mean, I Ken, think Barbie... No, you know what? Barbie should win it just because it gave us that, that Ken hoodie. Yeah. Okay. I like the poor no. things costume. Oh, the no, poor things poor thing was yeah. nice too. But I think I think that, that literally the dress, the dresses in Barbie was a part of the story. Like the way how she dresses and even can is 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 like a it's a plot on the story okay. itself on the narrative. So your pick, Barbie? and the custom design was great. Yeah, Barbie. If, pick. if Barbie should win anything, it should be win this category. Okay, I'm with Napoleon. That's the hot take, Gabriel. Poor things, poor things, and Lynn. Uh, oh, oh, uh, hoping, uh, Hoppenheimer, Hoppenheimer, <laughs> Hop the Heimer. Okay, all right. Wow, that's a category that we each have a different film. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. Directing. Oh, let me tell you. I know who's going to win it. It's going to be Christopher Nolan. It has to be Christopher Nolan. This is his year. If it's not Christopher Nolan, we riot. No, if it's not Christopher Nolan, I don't know. We riot. It could be Martin Scorsese. I I think Scorsese is the only one that can take it. I can snub Nolan. Scorsese. I think Wait, Nolan's going to win it. Has Nolan won Nolan's, it? No, no, he has not yeah. won. That's why I think this Nolan's is won the other stuff. But Nolan's been sweeping all yeah, the other Nolan's awards. Exactly. That movie's it been winning a lot. But who won, who won it in the SAG Awards? Nolan. Yeah. Nolan's it been should winning. be Nolan. It should be Nolan. Yeah, like, I think listen, it will be Nolan. All these movies will be are Nolan. great, but Oppenheimer is a... Marty, a, just give it a Nolan. It's an accomplishment film. Marty, just the give it Killers of the Flower Moon is an accomplishment. No, film. I agree. I know, but Marty's it, it, already won. It, it is. It is between Marty and Nolan. Nolan. But for me, if I have to choose, he ha- it's Nolan. Nolan, man. Yeah. yeah, I agree. The way how he pieced the story together with different narrative, uh, even different style of 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 uh, yeah. kind of reminded me of. Well, you know fiction. what? I forgot. You're right. Maybe maybe Oppenheimer to win cinematography. Because he used he used it to really divide and unite the narrative. Bars well, link just, did I just flipped. Did I just win you over? Yeah. Yes, I you think just you have. That's all right. That's power of siblings. Um. <clears throat> so yeah. How did Zone of Interest get on here? You know what? I really. How did Zone of Interest get on it? They were impressed with the directing. Have you guys seen Zone of Interest? Directing. Gabe saw it. Was not impressed. By we saw it last movie. night. Was not interested. Link has not, has not and may never find the zone of interest. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing to do is to ask her, where is the zone of interest? <laughs> Show me. All but right. I, do, I do like Yor, Yor, Yorgos. So I really want I him to, to watch win it. Lobster. I really want him to win it one time. Re- I, I love lobster and I love uh, the killing of a sacred deer. I don't think he should win. I haven't seen any. I want him to win it. If, he, if Poor Things beats out no, 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 Oppenheimer no, no, no. and Killers of the Flower <laughs> Moon, I will yeah. never watch the Oscars <laughs> ever yeah. again. No, it's not going no to happen. Way. I'm not I, on this episode I ever. I just like him a lot. And no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah but I think he's no, got a lot of years ahead of him. No, he's doing well. Yeah. No, Christopher Nolan should win it. Like Oppenheimer. No, no, guys. You give it a Noli. Justice for the Dark Knight. Uh, yes, like Oppenheimer yes. was beautiful. Justice for the Dark Knight. What won that year? D- exactly. The, was it the wrestler didn't win? Right, it was just nominated. No, the rest. That the Dark Knight was nominated. It was the year that the Dark Knight didn't get nominated. It got snubbed. I feel like the rest L- did win. Let me tell you what I happened. I feel like it did too. Two thousand eight. Nine. It came out in two thousand eight. I think it's the two thousand nine Oscars, but I may be wrong. I'll move on. We haven't seen the documentaries. 
Why right? It's made me so, so sad. I'm sorry. The commentary film category. Wait, I apologize. Like, there's I only didn't so much. Yeah. There's only so much time oh, we will watch it. I thought we were going to Best Picture. I'm sure they're all wonderful. Oh, Slumdog one. Oh my goodness, Slumdog. Okay. This is what the Oscars never get it right, in my opinion. Only last year. Never. Only last year. What? What? Who won last year? <laughs> a comedy won last year, baby. Okay, who? All right, you what? you want to go to Best Picture? What won? Last year? Yeah, everything, no! every, everything, everywhere, oh, yeah. all at once. That was last year. That yes. was last year. That feels uh, like three years ago, bro. That's yeah. crazy. I, okay, that's, okay, that was. So crazy. we're jumping to Best Picture, yeah. and then we'll see if we clean up after. So wait, go up, go up. Let me see the music one. The I know who's gonna win Best scores. Picture. I know go who's down. gonna oh. win. What? Best Oppenheimer. Thing. Oppenheimer's winning what? score. Music? Oppenheimer's winning score. What? I hate this. Can we do Best Picture? Real quick. Although original song, that song from from Spider Man should have been nominated. No, 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 no. What? Wiz Khalifa is nominated, but not Jack Black. What are you talking I about? Who's Wiz Khalifa? I don't understand. I mean, I know who's Wiz Khalifa. Oh, that's not but... Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> he <Yeah>. read Wazazi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Since what is Wiz Khalifa okay. nominated? So the fire inside. Wait, we're doing the songs? No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Okay, definitely not. Oh, my bad. Best picture. My bad. Ready? American yeah. fiction. We talked a little bit about this already. That's the only comedy there, right? Hilarious. Everybody, oh, everybody should watch American fiction. Hilarious. Anybody, anybody would enjoy this movie. I wanted to watch it. It's it's fun. It has something to say. It's a. Uh, it's a tricky topic. Yeah, but it's it a has very tricky topic. It's a challenging yeah. conversation. Is yeah. From I think two different perspectives. But I think it's that one that everybody should. It have. could be a little too challenging. Some people were in that theater with us and they walked out. Really? Mm. You know what? I, I don't, don't think, think I the Academy is ready. You were there. Yeah, but I was enthralled by the film. Me too. I thought the film was a great. <laughs> it's just mm. an older couple just walked out of the theater. No, no, is that they thought they were watching Madam Web. They thought they were watching Bob Marley. One love. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> okay, Anatomy of a Fall. Fantastic. Another great Excellent. film. A great film. I don't Should, know. I don't know I, why it's not nominated internationally, but whatever. Okay, yeah. this is no spoilers for our audience or link. Okay, but I'll just say that after this movie, I will never look at Fifty Cent's PIMP the same way ever again. That was that should have been nominated. Uh, yeah, but I don't think it's a new yeah, song written for the yeah. film. Those are the rules. I think the score should have won just for having it on there. Wait, time yeah. out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I hear that right? Did you say Fifty Cents? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. That's the focal part of the not movie. Get nominated? <laughs> well, <laughs> it was not written for the movie. Yeah, you can't be nominated if you're an older song used on but, a soundtrack. But that it's movie, original that song. movie is constantly playing in the background. In that movie, the, the, that song, the song, yeah. that song, the just not that like instrument. Fifty Cent's version though. You. It's in like a yeah. mambo. It's, it's like a, it's an instrument that you hear on the cruise. There's right. a steel drum, yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> version. Yes. It's like Michael Scott playing it. Yes, yes. 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 You've got to watch the movie. You won me over. With yeah. that. <laughs> I knew I would. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so stupid. That's literally it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. I bet you that made 50 proud. Yeah, I bet. I'm, I bet it did. Everything's coming up 50, bro. This, P. Diddy's going to go to jail. He's going <laughs> to have so much crap to talk. My boy 50's on it. Yeah, P. Diddy pulling a John Wait, Lasseter why, there. Why, why is 50 cents in jail yeah, too? Pit, you know, P. P. Diddy tried to murder. No, P. Diddy is 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 what Jeffrey... No, not Jeffrey Einstein. It's what, it's what Weinstein, Jeffrey Einstein, Jeffrey. Weinstein, whatever. Einstein. Jeffrey Epstein? Ep no, no, the Hollywood, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, okay. Into the music industry. Okay. And he's oh, going to go this down. What Einstein Wait, you know physics. what? I'm not going to say anything. This, he, could be, he could be one of yeah. our two <laughs> listeners and kill me. I think there's I'm more sorry, than Pity. two, but... Also, I you should have said in your accent. I'm I sorry, PD. <laughs> Let's I've, count how many times I say I'm sorry. One. I've explained this to you before. 50 Cent is not in prison. He hasn't yeah. been for a really long time, okay. and you didn't know him when he was in prison. I didn't. Yes, know he's a good him. man now. He's changed. He gave his life to Jesus. <laughs> Did he? All eight. I don't know. All eight bullets. <laughs> I like it's just purified him. System. Okay, right, Barbie. Anyways. I'm no, happy it's uh, nominated. I don't know why. Me too. I'm happy it's nominated. I'm happy it's there. I don't yeah. think it was think, the best year. Especially when we have ten nominees. I think Barbie year. was was carried by Barbenheimer. Yeah. Um, Wait, really quick. When they. When they put the best picture, the name 10? at the bottom, mm -hmm. they don't put the no. name of the director? No, it's a producer's. Justice for, what's your name? Greta Gerwig. Greta. Yeah. Uh. No, no. Yeah, for you need to win best directing for the director to be credited, which is why now, you know, more esteemed directors also produce their movies. What do you guys, do you guys, so they can do get, you guys kind hmm. of like agree with what everybody's saying that Margot Robbie and Greta were a snob? No. I don't think so either. I think if that America Ferrara 
is Ooh. on that list. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. You know I what? Put, I would have put. Uh, hey, here's the thing. They're not mutually. They're not mutually exclusive. You know. Yeah. You're competing not with the other people in your movie. You're competing with whoever's in that right. category. And I feel and I feel after watching all the other movies and all the other performance, like I love Robbie and I and I liked Barbie. I think that everybody else, they're I don't know, they're Gabe asked a question, by the way, that I think he yeah. asks every year. Is it always ten? We can we the you, academy can nominate up to ten. Did you ask that question in 1997? I'm Gabriel? pretty sure it did. Mm. Yeah. Oh, in 1997 there were only five. Yeah, right? you can only do five back then. Um, so you can nominate up to ten, but you have to meet a specific threshold of number of votes, which is why sometimes we have seven or eight. Mm. Mm. Okay, Mulligan. Barbie was good. I just doing this is uh my least favorite Greta Gerwig movie. Gerwig. Gerwig. I thought it was fun. I, I think Barbie it. was fun. It's and it good. Was I like this one. Yeah, yeah but it's good, but it's not Little no. Women. It's not Little That's Women. Yeah. It's not Lady Bird. Well, get it's ready. It's not Francis Ha. Uh -huh. get, get ready for um the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. <laughs> as, as uh, I only have one request, Greta, bring back Liam to play Aslan. Who's that guy? I don't think. Okay. They're probably gonna get. But Danny if you DeVito. could choose somebody else, what? oh, it's, if it's you gonna, can get Danny DeVito as Aslan, is Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> is Timothy Danny Chalamet DeVito? gonna be? He's Timothy Chalamet's Mr. Tumnus. Mr. Tumnus, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Guys, Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. Oh, okay. Could. We'll talk about. That's not time okay. to talk about mm. Tim. Yes. Mm. All right. So, uh, the holdovers. We've talked about it. It's yes. an amazing. Yes, he belongs film. in this category, and I'm glad he's here. He came out of nowhere too. Yes. Yeah. Well, film. actually, me, me and Gisela were like Third. anticipating it for months. Yeah, uh, me too. Actually, I watched the trailer and I go to George. Which third. Go watch this yeah. movie? I'll put a third on my list. You put it third on your list? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. That's strong out yeah. of these 10 movies. I put it fourth and I've only seen three. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> With that being one of them? How's that possible? Okay. Oh, because you put Killers of the Flower Moon ahead of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even, though, even though you haven't seen it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's second for me. Killers of the Flower Moon? Yes? Yes. For no. me, it's Oppenheimer. Second? Killers of the yeah. Flower Moon. Oh, are we talking? Okay, are we talking about like what deserves it or what like your I mean, favorites were? That's my favorite. My favorite. Killers of the Flower Moon's in second position for me. I for think. my favorites, it's Oppenheimer, Past Lives, and and Holdovers. Got okay. Then Killers is fourth. Okay, let's talk that about Past I enjoy, Lives. That I enjoy. That I enjoy. I like. I will watch it again. What deserves it? Killers of the Flower Moon. Can second. We, can we talk about yeah. Past Lives? Yeah, sure. Past Lives but is I, amazing. You, my you saw it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell me. The movie was amazing. It's uh it's uh it's yep. it captures a specific moment in a period of someone's life. Of your life, right? Like mm -hmm. we've I believe we've all had these types of relationships. Uh -huh. yeah. And I've just never seen it manifested in movies. I thought it's just like something you really can't explain. And that's crazy, right? And that's that what point? you see it in past lives. Yes. So I thought this movie was beautiful. Yes. If Christopher Nolan uh, was not born, I would have given it to uh, Yeah, Past Lives is my favorite movie. But I think if past, it wasn't Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yeah, but I have a very specific connection to this film. I yeah. love Past Lives. I love this movie. Uh, yeah, um, tell us watch more. it, Paramount Plus. Anti-La La Land. Yeah, I agree. I, yes. I, I yes. made this comment to Gabe, and he was like, did I tell you that? Because I love La La Land, and I think a lot of people do, but I, I don't agree with this, many of the sentiments in the, in the finale. Mm. Which kind of brings it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like it's this 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 fantasy of lives that you didn't live, and this is the antithesis of that. Without right. saying too much, like go watch past wa lives. Watch past I, lives. Past lives was great. Yes, it's beautiful, and it's yes. an accessible movie too because it's like it's PG thirteen. It's real clean. It's nice. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have. So so I'm like I'm telling like everyone. <laughs> you guys have been scarred by poor things. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> poor you things know what? trauma. Because I went to the movie theaters and I didn't know what the movie's about. So just. You're, the only thing George says is like, oh, you know, it has some strong scenes. So I'm thinking, okay. What strong scenes? Poor things. Poor oh, things. Oh, I thought you were talking about past So lives. I'm thinking, oh, okay, a little bit of violence, a little bit of, you know, this, a little bit of that. A no, bit of it was all about that. <laughs> a and lot it was of Monica. Just, it was like 30, 40 minutes Monica on the S. screen. Monica's. It was too much. I'm not, I didn't, I, I didn't care for it. Oh, I think I'm not phased. I'm not phased by it. No, I mean, you told me you told me you're super graphic, so I was like, all right, okay. hardcore, bro. Yeah, right. But I was not prepared. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, for you, me, yeah. I I don't know. I was like, what am I watching? You know, I, I wasn't I wasn't a big fan of the movie. I I, I didn't I didn't yeah. think it was there was a there's a lot of ideas that I'm like, eh, and I feel like some ideas are like contradictory to each other. 
without yeah. going too much which, into it. Which I know, guess I don't know if that's the point of the movie. It, it might and be. I, and it I might understand. Be. Like I yeah. can see, I can see, you know, if someone was like that, I can see why you can like and it. I know, I just like and it I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I feel the same thing about like aspects of Barbie and like uh, the poor things. They have a strong message to to say, especially about women. women. But I feel that it's so preachy and so like down your throat that you're like, oh, hey, I get it. Like, it is about this. And that is one of the things that I kind of like, I was a little bit of Barbie, like that monologue of American Ferreira. Like, it's, yeah, I get it. I'm a woman. I understand. But the monologue at time felt preachy. Like, like it's not subtle yeah it's not subtle it's not it's not like something that you talk about with a friend she's literally preaching it to the other barbies and it's kind of like 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 i'm gonna it's intentionally putting the movie because i want to say this do you forced. know what i mean it's forced and that's something that's why i was like oh, okay it's a good movie i already love the monologue i get it but i didn't feel as as a woman you know i felt a little bit like Okay, you're preaching this to who? Pandered. Yeah, like you're pandering to me. And I feel the same thing about poor things. Like, like obviously, they're taking other mediums to like, and on the, uh, other uh, tools to tell this narrative about, you know, woman sexual freedom and woman, uh, um, you know, journey through life and how, you know, we perceive these things. But at the same time, I felt at a time it felt like, OK, this is a lot, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. And that's why it was important to have a female voice on this yeah. week's episode. I'm yeah. searching for my girlfriend. However, both important things to say, obviously, for yeah. women, you know, I don't know if this is necessarily like the way I would have chosen to do it. But believe it or not, like between between american ferrero monologue and poor things even though poor things was super strong i'd rather poor things yeah because yeah. because they Sip chose the right, they chose to Damn tell my. a movie to, to tell it's this in a very creative way artistic. right more yeah. artistic right so there's a lot for you to interpret you know like america ferrero is like at barbie's it's, like in your face it's this strong is what it's it is. strong like it is it also is in your face it's very strong right. like themes but at the same time it's like you're an adult handle this exactly barbie's kind of just like at you, that, with that monologue they're kind of just like kids are watching here. Feeding you. yeah comes the airplane you. Yeah. right yeah. I, I, that's that's exactly you're right gabriel baby. yeah I, um I also have a thing that is full disclosure. And, and full disclosure, oh. I think Killers of the Flower Moon. Full disclosure. I just uh, thought I had to say that. Uh, sorry, Killers of the Flower Moon. Full disclosure. Made social <laughs> That's been more, four times I've counted that we uh, said this. Sorry. I, think, I feel like Killers of the Flower Moon made a so much stronger statement about womanhood. You know? You know what? Very true. Uh, than uh, these two movies did about womanhood you know this is like past lives even right even past lives like how we deal with grief and suffering in this you know in this world and and how the the courage that it takes to even stand up to the people that you love and trusted at some point you know so i don't know i don't know i think that i i think that killers of the flower moon has a stronger message you heard it here america you know for Only her. Martin Scorsese knows how a woman feels. <laughs> Not even women. He's talking to you, America Ferrer. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Supporting Oh, to fair, America Ferrer did not write the monologue. Well, she's being awarded like she didn't. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, so my hang-up is, for me personally, I think there is a line of how artistic, avant-garde, and interpretive a movie can be. Yeah. And Poor Things is, again, to no um, insult to the film itself nah brother that's your subjective take. yeah it's, it's on this side it's on this side of like uh, I'm disconnected oh, it's too much yeah. zone of interest can you do was it vertically even... and not horizontal so that our viewers can see what you meant by that okay okay so go. yeah this is the line we have viewers okay. yeah, I mean, yeah a few yeah. we're on camera that okay yeah, exactly so that made no sense to me so poor things is like a little too artistic a little too avant-garde zone of interest itself even was almost on the line there just so I kind of had to boom, 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 like boom. walk me through some of it because when, like there's moments of just like because only the woman knows where the zone of interest <laughs> black screen bro the, fir the the intro to zone of interest i'm just like all right come on man what what did you get from that what was that about the black screen at the beginning 
the opening shot. Like, what was the? So what was you're the, not scared when you watch it. Is like two and a half minutes. I thought minutes. my television broke. So, Me too. So so it's it's like it's so dark. Yes, the projector's still on. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought in my head. I was gonna text you that. Yeah. I was so confused. Yeah. Why is Amazon Prime busted? I do gotta tell you though, <laughs> Sonan Interest. I I think it's a it's a film that any if, uh, all of us should watch. Yeah. You know, at uh, even though like I know we have. There have been so many movies All and so many stories being told about World War II and the horrors of it. I was telling George this last night because we just watched it, uh, that it's one of those films that they decide to give us a new kind of like lens uh, about what was happening on the other side of the wall of these camps. You know, and it's such a like the German side. Yeah, the German yeah. side. Interesting. Right. Like how were they living and coping, we you know, with the sound of death, you know, and the sound of horror. I don't and know about how it, comfortable it was. Yeah, they were living For in you. hell. You know, and yet yeah, it's interesting how the, George says to me, Well, you know, humans could get used to anything. Yeah. The family? You know. But they live in literal hell. But what after, I said. after a while you got used to my accent. Right, no, that's, you no, just that's like, terrible. like you hear every five minutes is gunshot or like children oh, screaming. Oh wait, Son of Interest is a movie about World War Two. Just in case anybody oh, yeah. is uh, the, the leader, the guy that runs Auschwitz right. lives next to it's Auschwitz. It's about the guy that runs Auschwitz, the concentration camp, and how his family is trying to make a home right next to everything that's happening in Ashwood. And they could hear, they're like witness to everything that's happening And they've there. made it a home so much that like... They don't want to leave it. They doesn't want to leave. Well, mm -hmm. one, so, some people in particular without saying too much. Right. But it's a, it's a movie that people should watch because... Mm. It was, I, it's an important film. I think. I, I think so. I really enjoyed the shot like of the night scenes of the... Of the um, you know, I was, and you know, and it's interesting because effort. that could also be applied to anything in history or anything in society. Like we could witness so much horror and we could witness so much injustice and get used to it. She was I think feeding, that's what's going on right and, now. And, and I just the, think that is part of life. It's prisoners. going on right now. Yeah, no, no, no. I was no. confused. Okay, so at the beginning, so there are scenes right that take place using, I guess, what it could be described as like a night vision filter, mm -hmm. right? And at first I was like, is this real? Is this not? And then some of them are just so long that I'm like, is this a good film technique? Is it not a good film technique? I was just, I had never seen anything like it before, which, which is, why is good. It. But sometimes my brain is like, is it not good? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's strange. It's novel. And it is uh, disruptive to the way I process film, I guess you could say. So I'm not saying it's bad, but at the moment... I was uncomfortable from a filmmaking perspective, if that makes any sense. Yeah, because it's just so horrific. Like, you're thinking, like, what? what is going on? Like, why are they not mm. doing anything about it? Like, are they just okay with this? So, yeah, definitely it's a movie that people are supposed to. <clears throat> like, for me, uh, out of all of this, if you, I mean, they're all great films, so you're not going to get but important films that people should watch is The Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, and Zone of Interest. Zone of Interest. Everything else, uh, I mean, they're all great films, like well, I said. I actually think... And American fiction, actually, I would add to that. Yeah, so all of them. Actually, honestly, I think you should go out of your way to see almost all of these, yeah. 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 I think it's okay if you can't handle poor things, maybe you should... Skip that one. And Maestro's a great performance, right? But I don't think like you'll super lose out on the experience if you never watch it. Mm. But I, you'll definitely gain from watching it. Mm. Right. Mm. But yeah, a lot of the films, I think, are important stories mm. that demand to be seen. Okay. So everybody's pick for best picture? Oppenheimer. Barbie. Oppenheimer. Barbie. I'm mm -hmm. going for Oppenheimer. I agree. Barbie. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Oppenheimer. Yeah. <laughs> Little La La Land Moonlight switch there. All right, so yes, okay. I think we've I think we've gone long enough, right? Yeah, more than forty five minutes. Perfect. Um, That's when we say forty five minutes, we went mean over an hour. So, I also believe that Oppenheimer should also win writing, uh, adapt the screenplay. I think the creator should win visual effects. That's all I gotta say. Oh yes, no, no, no! no. I no. give that to Godzilla no. minus one. No, I think it should be the creator. Nah, uh, Godzilla creator. minus one creator. did it for less money. I'm not gonna get mad creator at Godzilla. Nah, creator Godzilla 1, minus one. Thousand percent. 
Give it to Godzilla minus one. Wait, we Creator one thousand percent for visual effects. Yes, you need to watch that movie again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like it's great with what they. You have, need. You need to watch that movie again. No, no, no I'm I'm rooting for the underdog here. Uh, you can root for him. Yeah, you yeah, want. It's fine. I'm glad uh, it's nominated. But come no, on, the creator you, was. But gorgeous. you need to watch that movie again. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Gorgeous. It's gonna, it's gonna, Godzilla minus one wasn't nominated for best music. Oh, this category freaking sucks. Hey, can we, I go, can I suggest like, really quick before we go a couple of things? Maybe our yeah. listeners and viewers should check out. The Last Repair Shop on Disney Plus documentary oh, yes. short film. Yes, you guys should. That's my pick. See that. You know, that, watch was, it. that was so good. Oh, Society of Snow, by the way, best international feature film. Yes, it was fantastic. Watch that. It's, it's on, on Netflix. Netflix. Yes. I was incredible. No, like, also, um, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know. I'm gonna give you a hint. At, I'm making a prediction. Best picture, 2025. Doing part two. Is that what it's called? Dune Part 2? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should have just called it. Well, how many Dune movies are there going to be? Three. Okay. Supposedly. But the third, yeah, the third one should be called Messiah. No, that's the one that wins it. No, nah, I think it might be Dune Part 2. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Dune Part, no, Messiah's not going to win. Hey, wasn't uh, May, December kind of weird on Netflix? Yeah, it's like one is in the summer and one's in the winter. What are you talking about? The movie May, December. Once in the summer, once in the winter. You made a joke. Oh. Isn't that a Chili Peppers lyric? May, December? I don't know. It is. Okay. It is. All right. And on that thought, are we, are we done here? Yeah. Well, yeah. We already we already did the Oscars. Okay. I don't even Actually, know no, why, they're, was... why, why they're oh, yeah, doing yeah, the Oscars. One. Why are they doing the Oscars? Yeah, is that we, what you asked? We already decided all Sorry. the winners. Oh, okay. It's going to be Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer wins <laughs> All everything. of it. Except for animated feature, it doesn't win that because it's oh, not nominated. Fine. That's <laughs> gonna be Miyazaki. And if Oppenheimer the doesn't win. Nimona wins best animated. Yeah, Miyazaki doesn't win. Bro. Actually, I can't say that. I can't say I won't watch next year because. What are you gonna do, Miyazaki? Doesn't I need to watch win. Dune, like, what, I need I'm gonna watch tell. Dune next year. I'm gonna write a strong letter to the Academy mm -hmm. saying this museum you have honoring Miyazaki means garbage because you did not give him an Academy Award okay. for his last movie. He's oh, so ever won one? Yeah. We did. Spirited Away, baby. Spirited Away. Should have won it for Hamlet's Moving Castle. Also, did you see it? Never mind. They gave it a Shrek. Another conversation. Which, you know, I kind of... They gave it to Shrek? Shrek got an Oscar? Yeah, Shrek. They gave it to Shrek? Shrek 1? Shrek 5. Yeah, 1. 2025, best Shrek. animated film. Shrek is a... Uh, <laughs> Shrek's important. We just keep going. Shrek is I important. Think we, I, think, I think Dan should have cut cut the episode. Right? Um, Did you see the Spirited Body Away episode? Oh, wait. Me. From uh, I was moving castle Avatar? is one of... If not my favorite Miyazaki movie. You, Spirited Away won already, right? Miyazaki's mm -hmm. already won yeah, one. Yeah, it's already mm -hmm. won, yeah. But he needs another one. I think he needs more. Yeah. If he wins it, do you think he comes back and makes another film? I don't think no. he cares. I don't think he even shows up. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna go to the Oscars. Yeah, he has he ever gone to the Oscars? He's probably gonna criticize the Oscars yeah. right after he wins it. Exactly. What a what a boss move. Oh, All right. Shit. All right. Let's wrap it. Let's wrap it. Well, this yeah. wasn't wrapped. It's not over. Yeah, yeah. And I I'm love just you letting guys. Dan know if you're still listening. Oh. I love Wait. you guys. Cut it earlier. Hope you enjoyed the Oscars episode. <laughs> I think, I think I it's over already. Uh, next year, All right, I will, bye everyone. Year, but how do we end the episode? Next oh, year, I will know. do a better job and watch all. All right, the bye movies. everyone. Have a good night or day or. Love you all. Love Evening. you, Link.